Hi everyone, I'm Raj Teach, a faculty at Chinta. Today we'll be looking at problem number 20 from IQM 2024. As you can see, we are given, given a natural number n, we are allowed two operations, to multiply it by 2 or to subtract 3 from it. For example, starting from 8, he can reach 13 by doubling it and then taking 3 away from it. You need two steps and you can undo it in, an, in less than two steps. That's pretty evident. So starting from 11, what is the least number of steps required to reach 121? Now, we start off by making the following observation. To reach 121, the only way to do that is by starting at one, is by reaching 124 first. Because 121 is odd, you cannot double your way to 121. So you have to reach 124 first. To reach 124, you have two options. Either reach 127 first and then subtract 3 and get 224 or double 62 and get 124. But 127 can't be reached organically. You can't double something to reach 127. So your only option is to somehow reach 130 and then take two steps to reach 124 and then 121. To reach 130, you have two choices, either to double from 65 or again go somehow reach 136 and so on and so forth. One thing is evident that if you want to reach 124 from a number smaller than 124, in our case 11, irrespective of, it's clear that to reach 130 you have to either, so your choices are kind of restricted in that you'll have to take a number, you have to reach a number in this list at some point. To reach 136, you either reach 60, you either reach 68 or you reach 71 and so on and so on. So to reach 62, you either go to 65 and so on and so on. Uh, to reach 124, so to reach 124, even if you go by the 130 route, or the 136 route, and so on and so forth, no matter where it is easier to go, you know that you first have to choose, get to a number in this row instead. Right? Now, we don't know which of these is optimal, which of these is easier to reach from 11. But what is clear is that once you get to 65, or say 65 is the easiest, once you get to 65, to reach 124, this is the easier route. So to go to 60 to 1 first and then double because going to 62 and then 124 requires two steps, whereas going to 65, doubling, and then going and then taking away three twice is a three-step process. It's more expensive. So this is clearly, this is clearly the better route. And so on. If you want to reach 136 at some point, which by doubling from 68, it's much better to go down in subtractions of three to 62 and then double because that's a three-step process. Whereas this is a one plus two plus two, Five step process. And so going like this is always more expensive. So, based off of this observation, we make the following claim. To reach 2n for n positive integer from some a less than 2n, we must. And to do so optimally, rather, to reach 2n from some a less than a, uh, a less than 2n, optimally, that is, using the least number of steps, we must do it. And the proof of this will follows from a heuristic argument like this: that to reach 2n, your choices are the following: you can either reach n and double, all, or you reach 2n plus 6 and then drop down 3 ste in steps of 3. But to each 2n plus 6, the options are to either double in final plus 3 and so on and so forth. Wait. But if you were to go from n plus 6 to 2n, the best route would not be this. It would be this. Right? And so irrespective of whether or not n is easier to reach or n plus t is easier to reach or n plus is easier to reach and so on, you know that at some point you have to pick a, reach a number in this, row, in this row and once you reach a number in this row, it's clearly optimal to go in subtractions of 3 and then double from n, then any other route. 
and so that proves this claim claim 2 which is significantly weird is that to reach to n plus 1 we must pass through to n plus 4 because you can't reach to n plus 1 any other way you have to come down from an even number you can't double your way to to n plus 1 and this gives us a clear algorithm on how to reach to okay to reach to n plus 1 from a less than to n plus 1 this all kind of works only if you're trying to go from bottom to up Okay, now that we have the SAP, let's try to reach 121. To reach 121, we'll first want to go to 124 because of claim two. To reach 124, we want to go to 62, which is still even. So we want to first go to 31, which is odd. So we'd want to go to 34, some at some some way or another, which is even. So we want to go to 70. By the way, all of this from another 70 is odd. So we'd first want to reach 20. It is even, so it first want to reach ten, and now we are less than eleven again. So the question, so the question is, how do you reach from eleven to ten? One clear strategy is to go from eleven to eight by subtracting three, then subtracting three again to reach five, and then doubling. This is a three-step process. It's a very easy brute force calculation to see that you can't go from eleven to ten in two steps. You can simply start at eleven, make a possibility three, which is I either subtract three or I double, and you can see that from eight you can either go to sixteen or five. From twenty-two you can either go to nineteen or forty-four, and nowhere is ten over here. So you cannot reach ten in two steps, and you can clearly reach ten in three steps. And so the final answer will be eleven to eight, which is one; eight to five, which is one; five to ten; three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Final answer. Stay. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.